Hello everyone, quickly transitioning to the video and listing the magics in Clover Retribution. Enjoy the show, self-heal, with a 16 second cooldown and a prerequisite of five mastery points, replenishes a portion of your health proportionate to the number of clovers present in the spell. Requiring 15 mastery points, Healing Link forms a connection between you and a designated target, which severs if the target moves beyond a certain range or if your mana depletes. At 35 mastery points, Healing Field generates a healing zone of moderate size. Death Ward, unlocked at 45 mastery points and equipped with a 35% reduction in cooldown time, bestows an effect on allies, restoring them to 25% health when they hit zero. Therefore, I'm placing Healing in the D tier. Unlocked at 5 mastery, Melody Blast unleashes a mystical sonic wave, inflicting damage. When employed on fellow party members, it bestows the Melodized condition, diminishing the damage they receive by 5%. Accessible at 12 mastery, Melodic Amplifier activates a blast each time you cast a Melody-based spell. Attainable at 25 mastery, Melodic Seascape crafts a zone that consistently emits sound waves, repelling adversaries and causing magical damage. Those within this area, including party members, acquire the Melodized status. Therefore, Melody goes in the D tier, generates an Earth Wall and invokes Quake to damage enemies. Therefore, Earth is going in the D tier. The Gale White Bow, an element of the Mastery Arsenal, summons a bow of wind that fires homing arrows upon targeting. Another mastery skill, the Crescent Moon Sickle, releases a wind blade slashing through foes, inflicting wind-based damage. Tornado, a skill shrouded in mystery, awaits discovery. Unlocked through mastery, the Gale Vortex Veil creates a wind shield equivalent to 25% of your maximum health. This shield detonates upon depletion, causing damage and pushing away adversaries. Therefore, wind is going in the D tier. At mastery level 5, you gain access to Viscous Blob, allowing you to hurl a slime ball that inflicts arcane damage and has the potential to slow down enemies. Unlocked at mastery level 12, Viscous Strike launches a Slime X forward, causing arcane damage and potentially slowing foes. Attainable at mastery level 25, Viscous Floor lets you morph into a slime puddle, enhancing your speed, damaging nearby enemies, and potentially slowing them down. Therefore, Slime is going in the C tier. Obtainable at Mastery Level 5, Flame Ball propels a damaging Fireball forward. Unlocked at the same level with a 10% cooldown reduction, Flame Scattershot creates a Fire Sphere, emitting additional fire to nearby enemies, ultimately exploding and causing fire damage. Accessible at Mastery Level 50, Flame Thrash releases a forward burst of magical fire, potentially inducing the Burn condition. The Flame Tower, accessible at Mastery Level 75, remains yet to be discovered. Therefore, Fire is going in the C tier. At Mastery Level 5, Lightning Strike becomes available with an 8 second cooldown, summoning a cloud at your cursor. After a short delay, it unleashes a lightning strike, potentially inflicting the shocked condition. Achievable at mastery level 25 with a 16 second cooldown, Lightning Circus produces lightning sparks around you, dealing damage and intensifying the impact on shocked enemies. The Thunder God's Attire, obtainable at mastery level 75 with a 5 second cooldown, envelops you in lightning, enhancing movement speed and altering your M1 combat, scaling in effectiveness with INT. Therefore, I'm ranking lightning in the B tier. Water Magic, a recent addition to the game, boasts impressive and distinctive abilities, including water drill, shield, and dragon skills. This element offers a compelling choice for players seeking a potent option to vanquish their rivals. Therefore, water is going in the S tier. 
At mastery level five, wormhole becomes available, surrounding you with void energy and thrusting you forward when aimed above ground, dealing damage and imposing the gloomed condition on affected targets. This skill operates with a six second cooldown. Unlocked at mastery level 25, Depth Coil summons a black void beneath you, causing damage to those within and potentially afflicting them with the gloomed condition. The black hole ability is unlocked at mastery level 65, allowing the user to generate a black hole to strike enemies. Therefore, Void is going in the A tier. Utilizing blood magic allows for the unleashing of crimson form skills, such as small bubbles, crimson explosion, and slash. This potent and favored option is ideal for engaging opponents in combat effectively, providing a strong choice for those seeking powerful confrontations. Therefore, I'm placing blood in the S tier. At level 10, World's Root Mastery enables the summoning of damaging roots, potentially weakening foes, with the quantity of roots scaling up with higher intelligence. Achieved at level 25, the Arboreal Ascendancy Mastery allows you to set landmines that root and cause substantial damage to enemies who trigger them. Unlocked at level 45, Verdant Vortex Mastery creates a whirlwind of leaves and wood, inflicting damage. Finally, at level 60, the Forest's Embrace Mastery draws damaging roots from all directions, potentially weakening and rooting enemies. Therefore, World Tree is going in the S tier. The video ends here. In your opinion, which is the best magic in Clover Retribution? Write in the comments and let's discuss. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.